Whoops, crash. And there's Geraint Thomas has crashed and is not looking good. Geraint Thomas has not got up yet and he is sitting in the middle of the road and also down Robert Hessink, I think. I don't know what happened there, whether Geraint just touched wheels, but it happened right in the middle of the peloton. Well, that is a strange crash. The fact that it was so close to the front, the riders didn't hit any obstacles on the road. Oh, Geraint Thomas doesn't look good. Previous winner of the Tour de France, Geraint Thomas. This is looking, unfortunately, like collarbone. He's in all sorts of trouble. Oh, yep, yeah, the doctor has pushed the point which makes him wince in pain and they're asking him to lie down. This, unfortunately, Simon, looks like the end of the Tour de France for Geraint Thomas. Is he going to try and get himself back into this Tour de France? But it looked like it happened in the line right at the front, maybe because of the spray coming up or something and just touched a wheel. Well, Anthony, the roads are dry here, so I'm not sure what would have distracted Geraint Thomas, but it did look like that he was the rider who fell over the wheel. He was the first one on the ground. And Thomas is going to give it a go. He's going to try and get going. I'm wincing in pain. He's such a tough competitor, Geraint Thomas. So he's back on his bike there after that little crash. Tony Martin, unfortunately, tied up in it again. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. And he's, hit, and he's crashed again in this year's tour. But Geraint Thomas, he's a long way out the back now. The peloton didn't sit up. There's not a lot of urgency here in him sort of chasing back on the peloton. Maybe he's just got it on his bike just to, to test how he feels on the bike because he's going to press on if he can. But at this stage, well, he looks like he's in a lot of pain.